What's up guys? I am Akshiman from Unreal Investing. Go ahead and give us a follow on YouTube and Twitter because we break some of the hottest news that's coming into cryptocurrency that can help you, yes you, grow your portfolio ASAP. So I'm here with the Crypto Lifestyle Farm and in this video we're going to discuss Theta's Mainnet 3.0, it's new fourth, yes, fourth patent. It's the Crypto Lifestyle, baby. So I'll be real with you guys. I can't be anything except real. I think Theta and T Fuel is presenting some of the best opportunities for some short term gains for all of you traders out there. And for you long term holders, this is going to be like a safer play because I believe Theta and T Fuel is going to be around for a super long time. And I'm going to explain why I think we're on the cusp of something that's going to be extremely, extremely great. So I'm going to start with a quick market analysis. Of of course, almost everything has been bleeding out, like literally everything. But a few coins have been holding on very strong. T Fuel and Theta, they've been doing relatively well. They haven't gone completely into the gutter. And I think that's because Mainnet 3.0 is soon approaching. So T Fuel has been down about 4.2% on the seven day and about 0.9% over the 24 hour period. We dropped down from the 30th spot all the way down to the 38th spot. At Theta at the time of recording this is priced at around seven bucks. On Theta Explorer we can see that the total percent of all Theta stake is 61% showing that the circulating supply is shrinking less and less every day. So Theta and T-Fuel is still looking pretty good and I know a lot of my American friends have been complaining that they are very interested on getting their little fingers on some Theta and T-Fuel but it's been extremely hard getting them on some of these exchanges. Now have no fear because Crypto.com is now allowing you to purchase T-Fuel on their platform. Still no Theta as of yet, but if it's any consolation, at least you can get T-Fuel before the main net kicks off. I believe that Crypto.com opening up their platform to Americans being able to buy some T-Fuel is going to greatly help our 24 hour volume. This is going to allow more persons to come in, purchase T-Fuel and potentially actually push this price to our targets for main net 3.0, which I'll discuss at the end of this video. So make sure you all stick around to hear what those are. So yeah. Yes, all of you Americans are now officially able to purchase your T-Fuel on Crypto.com except you guys in the state of New York, you, you're, you're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> but let's keep it moving. Let's start discussing some patent news. So if you guys have been keeping up with Theta, you would have seen they have been awarded not one, two, three, their fourth patent. And this fourth patent comes right on the heels of Mainnet 3.0, which is such a big deal because of what they are about to implement into the Theta blockchain. So this fourth patent that they were rewarded is in regards to a decentralized DRM via NFTs. Yes, that's a lot of letters, but I'm going to explain what the heck that even means. Now, the reason this is a big deal is because this involves digital rights management and NFTs. Okay, I'll further explain because y'all don't understand this is a big deal. See, y'all don't get it yet, but I'll further break it down. So during the whole NFT craze, everybody was just spewing out what the definition of an NFT is, non-fungible token, and a lot of persons thought they were only good for two things, digital art and collectibles. I mean, this is true, NFTs are good for these purposes, but you could do so much more with these things. I'm talking about NFTs can be used for real world assets and even intellectual property. So let's further break down exactly how Theta plans to use this new patent. So Theta made a statement that this technology has massive applications for managing rights across a number of domains, including live performances, concerts, and other ticketed events that require authentication, which can be managed via an NFT. You're starting to understand the different ways that you can actually use an NFT. So let's continue. These NFTs will provide true digital ownership by the user, which cannot be taken away from them. More importantly, one major friction point for content right holders to use decentralized video streaming is concerns over their content rights being violated, as they require strong guarantees that a pair-to-pair -pair network won't be used to infringe on their content rights or that of any of their artists. By using NFTs to implement decentralized TRM, 
Theta Network solves this issue for content rights holders in a way that does not require a centralized party to authenticate users each time data is streamed. This opens the door for global content brands to safely bring their videos, movies, and games to Theta's decentralized data and video streaming network. Now, let me ask you guys, who do you know who is able to come into this space, this decentralized streaming space, and compete with Theta? Who do you know? Ain't nobody messing with Theta in this realm. This is some big money that Theta is about to enter the arena with, and there are no competitors in sight. I'm looking left, I'm looking right, and only Theta can guarantee, hey guys, when you put your content on our platform, nobody can come on this and pirate it. That is huge, bro, because nobody else can stand up and say, hey, we do this as well. So I can see Theta actually cornering this market that they are starting to create themselves. I'm going to be real with you guys. This is starting to sound like the future. And luckily for all of us, it's like we have a crystal ball. We can see this is going to be the future and we are already invested. So pats on the back for any of you guys who are already in Theta, congratulations. I mean, it's only natural that content creators, these guys who make these big budget Hollywood films will feel some kind of apprehension that if they put their videos, their movies on a decentralized streaming network, is it possible that our content is gonna be pirated? And Theta already has a pattern in place that's gonna prevent guys from just hopping on and bootlegging these movies. I am so hyped for this, guys. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a huge project in the next few months. Theta also says in their Medium articles that this pattern allows for cryptographic proof that only the right viewers are able to view the stream. Even if that data stream is accessed by an unauthorized user, they would not be able to decrypt the stream and see the underlying data without the proper NFT. This is significant, y'all. I don't know how much times I gotta scream this at y'all. This is a big deal. Video streaming and movies and all of this content creation is a big, big business. And these guys have patents on top of patents to protect the creators and to protect these guys who are producing these films. These guys who create this kind of intellectual property on this level, like on this scale, they need security. They have to know that their content is gonna be protected and Theta is protecting these guys. I don't know what more y'all need to hear. Comment down below, let me know. Are you guys excited for Mainnet 3.0 and what's y'all strategy? Are y'all trading or are y'all holding? So until next time, I'm Action Man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all like this video. And peace out, y'all.